Welcome back. Today I've got another Borderlands 2 build for you guys with the Vault Hunter Zero. I'll be going over all the best skill point allocations, every sniper rifle I recommend, and all the best gear that I recommend as well. Any gear that I'm missing uh, with this character will be on my other characters, so you can go have a look at those build guides as well. And before we jump into it, I just hit 50 subscribers, and I just wanted to thank everyone for all the support to my channel. Subscribe to follow on with more if you want. Alright, let's jump into the build. So, this is all the skills that I recommend using. Um, the only one that I haven't put points into that I recommend would be Fearless, which gives you bonus gun damage and fire rate while your shields are depleted. So, in the left tree, we have Headshot, gives you an extra critical hit damage by 40% with the class mod on, so that's excellent damage. Then we have Killer, which increases critical hit and reload speed for a few seconds after killing an enemy, which gives you an extra 50% crit and 75% reload speed. Quite handy to have. Then we have One Shot, One Kill. The first shot fired from a fully loaded magazine deals increased damage by 60%. So this is great on your sniper rifles. Then we have Boar, which is essentially the best skill that he has which pierces shots through enemies, so you can get an easy kill off Hyperius or the Bunker, etc. by lining up uh, certain um, loaders in front of him, etc. You can see that in other videos as well. Then we have Velocity, which increases bullet speed by 100%, um, critical hit damage by 15, and gun damage by 10. Then I just put two points into Precision, which I was left with, which gives you an extra 10% accuracy. Then we have Kill Confirmed, which gives you an extra 40% crit damage um, while aiming down the site. And the longer you aim down the site, the greater the value is of the damage. And then the next one we have at 1 with a gun, which increases your sniper rifle hit, hit shot accuracy by 105%. Sniper rifle reload speed by 50% and sniper magazine plus 5 and then the last one will be Critical Ascension, which essentially stacks sniper rifle damage and critical hit per stack, and it can stack up to 999 times. So you can actually stack this by shooting the um, dummy in Marcus's place in Sanctuary, and then run over to the um, Quick Change place, and then... Uh, reset your skills and then put your skills back in and then it should um, not go away it's hard to explain and then in the middle tree we have fast hands which increases your reload speed by 50% and your weapon swap speed by 100% with the class mod and then I have ambush which increases your damage done by 20% from attacking from behind Unforeseen, which and gives you shock damage to nearby enemies, um, gives you a decoy and explodes. And then Death Mark pretty much marks an enemy and you do an additional 80% more damage um, for 8 seconds to that person. And then Rising Shot gives you an extra 10% damage per stack and 9% melee damage per stack as well. Innovate increases the gun damage by 10%, regeneration of your health by 4 and movement speed by 35% while in deception. I wouldn't get too fang, it's not that worth it. Death Blossom, this gives you kunai blades, so this can, this has all the elements on it, you pretty much just throw kunais out while in deception mode. And then in the Bloodshed tree, I have Iron Hand, which increases your max health. That's pretty much the reason why I use it. And melee damage by 30% each with the class mod. And then Grim, which increases your cooldown rate by 7.5% and regenerates max shields by 3.5% uh, per second after you kill an enemy. And then the last skill I'll be going over is Follow Through, which increases your movement speed by 40%. Gun damage by 30 and melee damage by 40 after killing an enemy. So yeah, that's the skill tree. Pretty good. And yeah, going back over, this is 
the only one I'll pretty much recommend using is Fearless. I just don't have it on. So you could probably put a couple of points out of Precision and maybe a couple out of Unforeseen potentially and put it into there. Alright, let's go over the guns. So I've pretty much got all the sniper rifles that you want in the game as well. Um, I just can't fit all the guns I'd like to into my inventory, which you can head over to my other build guides as well. If you want to see those guns that I don't have um, as well. So the first gun I'll go over is a Cobra sniper rifle. The Boss Becker double penetrating unkept herald, which is essentially one of the best guns in the game. You also want to get a bladed grog nozzle for a melee build because this gun heals you and you can do a nice melee build as well with this gun. Then we have the B shield which increases your amp damage which gives you just far more damage. And then with the class mods we have the legendary hunter class mod. And then for the relic we have bones of the ancient which increases incendiary damage and does cooldown rate by 51% and then we have a shock storm front which I'm pretty sure is a modded grenade that I've seen floating about some people will just drop it to you and all that if you can find one of these this is one of the best um, grenades in the game I just don't think it's a part of the base game I think someone's just modded it into the game Alright, all right. let's jump over to the sniper rifles and all the other gears. We have the Hot Mama, which is from the Fight for Sanctuary DLC. We have all the Lyotas, and you want the Grompy, Grompy one, which increases your critical hit damage by 125%. And we have a Pitchfork Sniper, you want to get this in all elements as well. Then a Barking Volcano, this is the only one that you need. And then a Sincero, which uh, trespasses shields, and you can hit the head off um, Pyro Pete. And yeah, there's also another sniper rifle called the Trespasser, which is a blue one that essentially does the same thing by trespassing shields and just um, damages the health. And then we have a Muckamuck sniper rifle, a Droog, which you want to get in all elements as well. Um, all elements of the Barking Pimpino as well. All elements of the Barking Chero AMA. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. And then you want the Auditing Morningstar as well in all elements. And those are all the snipers. And if we go over to the items, we have in Relics, we have the Might of the Seraphs increases your melee damage, which is the highest amount of melee damage you can do with a relic for a melee build. Then we have Bone to the Ancients corrosive damage and shock damage as well. The Sheriff's Badge which increases your pistol damage by 24%, fire rate etc. And then the Deputy's Badge for shotguns. For the other class mods I have a Legendary Killer which increases critical hit damage. A Ninja class mod which is for the melee build. A legendary sniper for the sniper build, which increases gun damage, critical hit damage, but gives you less shield capacity. And then for the grenades, I would recommend a crossfire, but at a low level so it doesn't damage you. Like, let's say a level 31, where you're at level 80 OP 10. A incendiary fastball, longball, longbow, quasar, shock fastball, corrosive fastball, a chain lightning, which if you pair this with the grog nozzle, I'm pretty sure it heals you as well. And it also regenerates uh, grenade ammo slowly. Then we have a magic missile, which is one of the best slag grenades as well as the crossfire. And then that's all for the grenades. For the shields, we have a antagonist, which is, I would say, in the top three shields. It's pretty good. Evolution Shield for Elemental Resistance, a Height of Terramorphous Grounded for the melee build, you'll want this, it's pretty rare to get though, especially a perfect one. Then we have a 94% Sham Shield, a Alkaline B Shield for the Corrosive Damage Immunity as well, and a Rough Rider. 
And that's it on my backpack. If we move over to the stash, I have all the interfaces, practical. A pursuant north fleet, you want that in all elements as well. A practical conference call in all elements. And then a speedy butter boom for rocket jumping. You want to get one at level 30, which you can farm uh, King Mom. And then a low level Logan's gun for regenerating rocket ammo with the sham shield. You pair those two together. You can also use a rapier, rapier to on the uh, melee build as well if you want. But I think the grog nozzle is better because of the health regen. I'm not sure if this one regenerate your health as well um but yeah the grog nozzle melee is the one to go for then we have the flying sandhawks all elements win win lady fist all elements for the critical hit damage and then a hydra which is good for the hyperius um and antagonist uh pair there's like a build for it I can't I, it's quite hard to explain how to do it I have to look at a video for that it pretty much uh, deflects the bullets of the Hydra off the antagonist off Hyperius or something and then does like massive damage and yeah that's pretty much it with the uh, zero build the, that's pretty much all the best gear that I have and all the best skills if you could please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed um, and if I missed any weapons as well just head over to my Salvador or Siren build those will give you an extra few options of weapons or gear that you can use on this character I was more just trying to fit in as many sniper rifles as I can to showcase all the best sniper rifles with this dude because he's based around snipers but yeah Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.